case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of Texas heard the 1978 case Williams v. Williams, which focused on the enforceability of a premarital agreement. The court found that such agreements are allowed as long as they follow constitutional and statutory definitions of separate and community property and do not violate public policy. In 1973, William Wesley Williams, Sr., and Mildred Dish Lawrence got married after signing a premarital agreement that waived the rights of the surviving spouse to the homestead and other exempt property. However, after Williams's death, Lawrence refused to follow the agreement, leading to a lawsuit filed by Williams's children. The Texas Supreme Court found the agreement to be valid and enforceable, ruling that a surviving spouse's probate homestead and certain exempt personal property rights could be waived by a premarital agreement, as protected by the Texas Constitution. While provisions regarding the character of property acquired during marriage were void, the court severed invalid provisions and upheld the valid portions of the agreement. The higher court ultimately overturned the lower court's decision and supported the trial court's ruling. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.